Hello, welcome to J and J Essential Oils Love Potion Nights. And tonight, I'm going to teach you how to make these wonderful, luscious, sensuous, delicious bath beads for your bath. So when you're getting ready for your wonderful date, you can luxuriate in these bath beads that have milk in them. Milk, you say? Why would I want milk in my bath beads? Well. I don't know if you know anything about this old starlets in Hollywood. There was this one, I can't remember which one it was, and I meant to look it up. She would take whole baths just in milk, milk baths, because milk is so good for your skin. It's got the, the fats in it that's silky, wonderful. And these bath beads, you can't buy them in the store. And they have a little bit of flour in them, and it calls for white flour, but I'm using gluten-free flour tonight so that nobody will drop dead if they happen to have trouble with gluten. But anyway, this is what we're making. Cool. So it's very easy. The first thing you do is you take a quarter cup of Epsom salts. Stick it in there. And then one third cup of white flour. This is the white flour. I want to make sure it wasn't the milk. <laughs> and I'm using, I'm not using white flour, I'm using all-purpose gluten-free flour. Okay. Then, this is what makes it really luxurious and special is milk, powdered milk. Cheap powdered milk you get in the store. Quarter cup. Two tablespoons distilled water. Two teaspoons of sweet almond oil. Have you ever smelled sweet almond oil? It's not the same as regular almond oil because it smells sweet. Smell it. Oh, yeah. And it's very good for your skin. You want to smell it? I have Just some. Open. All right. So we're going to use two teaspoons of that. One, two. Gives you a little. Then we're going to use two teaspoons of other oil. Now I'm using avocado oil because I can find avocado oil is just really good for, I hate to say my aging skin, but it's, <laughs> it's very, it, it soaks in really well and it's just really feeds your skin. So I'm gonna use some avocado oil, but they say apricot kernel oil is also good. And finally, I'm gonna put in essential oils. Now our theme tonight is love potions. So I decided I was going to use some Ylang Ylang oil, which promotes, it's like an aphrodisiac. So if you want to um, get your lover interested, soak in this bath with these bath beads before your date. Ah, I lost count. Eight, be nine. Eight. Okay, good. So you want about 10 drops of oil. I'm using Ylang Ylang, but I'm going to add a little bit of grapefruit oil to that. <coughs> grapefruit oil promotes joy. It's just a happy, happy oil. So, when you're laying in your bath and you are luxuriating <coughs> in this milk bath and it makes the water, you know, a little milky. <coughs> you use, a, what you do is you're going to use like two of these beads um, in a bath. And then you lay back and you can just feel the tension leave your body and you just feel so good. And when you come out, you smell so good. and It's just wonderful. And if you happen to want to share the bathtub with a friend, and then you're, add another And then you're ready for love. Now these... <laughs> That'll make my is, husband you, happy. I mixed up the concoction, right? But then... Is it like a dough? It's like a dough. You're gonna roll these balls into dough, and the pro and these are. It's a I wish we had bit, smell a vision. It smells so it's good. It's a little bit of wet, but you roll them into balls, and you could even put a little. Um, um, if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of. Uh, oh, I lost my train of thought. But they're balls, and you can even decorate them. These are a little wetter than I would like. I think I like could. a little uh, baking soda, maybe, to stiffen it up. No, it doesn't. It normally, it's fine. I just didn't. I just think I put a little too much of water or something. I measure it, but it's fine. These will be fine. 
But you're going to roll these up and you're going to let them sit for 24 hours. And then you're going to be able to put them. Just make another one. So you have to do a little pre-planning. <laughs> so do they sit on the counter or in the fridge? Or? Yeah, what I did is I sat them on the counter. I put a little bit of... Um, of um, paper. Wax paper down, thank you. My brain is just like a sieve. And you roll them up into balls and you put them in here. And you can go, like, wait until they dry a little bit and go and round them up a little bit if you want. And then they make great gifts because you can't buy these in the store. It's, so it's really a unique gift to some, give someone you care about, someone who likes baths. And I've got them in this jar and I've got a, a label for the jar that I'll show you in a minute. But another thing you could do is after 24 hours, they, they'll, they'll be hardened. You can just take a four by four inch piece of tissue paper or or cloth and put the ball in that and wrap it up with a string. You know, you can you could do um, you know individual ones wrapped up and put them in a big jar. There are no end of how you could display this. Um, but you see, it just makes enough for a gift. Got a little baby one here. Um, the first time I made them, I used one of those pampered chef scoops, mm -hmm. and that works perfectly amazing, but I, I kind of like rolling them in my hand. You know, I need to a plate up. <laughs> it feels good. If you want to come feel it, you can. And um, it, it just makes a luxurious bath. Now smell that. And here you can smell the ones great. I've already made, too. Oh, yeah. See, these are the ones that are done. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I'm going to go oh ahead and put a label yeah. on it. Mm. They look like cookies. They do. <laughs> they smell very, very exciting. So, yeah. And I tell you, laying in a bath with these beads, it just makes you feel so pampered and cared about. You have a candle going and maybe some light Soft music, music in the background. Treat yourself. Thank you.